Okay, hello and welcome to Melbourne Park for this press conference with Kaya Kanepi. During this press conference, we'll be taking questions from in the room and from online. To ensure a smooth running press conference, please ensure your microphone is muted and only unmute when asked to do so. Please activate your camera during the press conference, particularly when you are asking questions to the players. To ask a question, please use the raise your hand function on your toolbar. And we will start with questions in English, followed by national language. <coughs> okay, so uh, Kaya, you always play so well in Australia. How do you compare your form so far this year to previous years? Um, actually, I don't think I have played that well in Melbourne. I have played well in Brisbane. And Melbourne is just third round in my uh, Grand Slams I have played. Uh, normally, well, I have made quarters in other Grand Slams and in Melbourne just third round. That's what I meant. <laughs> But uh, uh, this year, I think uh, it helped that I got uh, many matches in previous week uh, to get used to the conditions. And I also played many matches on Margaret Court. And I also played there today. So I think that also helped to feel better. Okay. Hi, Kaya. Um, what do you think is the reason that this is the only Grand Slam you haven't reached the quarterfinals at yet? Uh, I think... Uh, coming here from pre-season and a uh, long trip I haven't felt uh, physically uh, that great o also in Melbourne the weather changes a lot and it's uh, tougher to get used to the conditions if I haven't uh, been in Melbourne for a longer time but uh, this year I think uh, um, coming here for uh, two, two weeks first uh, quarantine and then um, the warm-up uh, tournament was also in Melbourne I think that that's what helped me. You have such an amazing record against uh, top 10 players. This is your 13th win over a top 10 player and the eighth time at a Grand Slam. So that's, am that's amazing. Um, but how does, how does this particular win compare to all those others? Because of, you know, she's defending champion and she's been, she made the French Open final too. She's, she's playing very well. Like, is this, is this the best ever or where does it fit? Uh, I don't uh, really like comparing anymore. <laughs> I have learned that <laughs> playing um, uh, so many years tennis that uh, I'll take one match at a time and one tournament at a time and uh, um, <coughs> so, uh, it all depends how I feel and uh, how the opponent plays and so on. But um, I played good today. I served really good. I think uh, it was a good win. Did you get the sense that she was nervous? Because she had actually said coming into the match she was very... She was a bit nervous, I think, about playing you, and she's also said that she was struggling with nerves as the defending champion. Did you get a sense that she was nervous? Uh, I, I couldn't actually uh, know what she feels, because I was nervous too. <laughs> <laughs> I had to um, calm myself down, and I, I had no time to look what um, how the opponent is feeling or doing. And my last one is just your form in general. You had your good week last week playing in Melbourne, but... You also won your ITF events at the end of last year, so you've won 20 matches out of 22. Like your form is great. Um, what what is clicking? What's what's working for you so well at the moment? Um, I think I feel physically good, and that that uh, always helps a lot <laughs> to play tennis. D is there anything you've done physically that makes you feel good? This like is this the best you felt physically? Is or is it are you just in a good space at the moment? Well. At this age where I am, I can't say that it's the best. <laughs> it's it's good. <laughs> Just good. Have you had to do anything, though, at this stage of your career to, to like to work harder on the physical side of things because of maybe injuries or, or things like that? Is um, I have to work harder on, on my recovery and not, not, any, not the, the physical aspect anymore, I think. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, we'll move to questions online in English first. Courtney, would you like to go first? Sure, yeah. Kaya, congratulations. Uh, you mentioned that you were quite nervous ahead of the match. Why were you nervous? We know why she was nervous. Why were you so nervous? Uh, probably playing a defending champion. <laughs> that was the thought. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. Australian Open is um, like bigger tournament than the one before. It was like warm-up tournament and, you know, it's... It's a bit easier, but now it's it's big. And then I'm curious, this year, 
you know, both obviously last week and this week playing at Melbourne Park, um, the courts are faster, the conditions are faster than they've played in the past. How much does that feed into your game? Because I have to think that, that you like these conditions. Uh, I like when I serve good, then it's a big advantage, but uh, you never know, it doesn't happen every day. So actually, I do like a bit slower conditions, but uh, but today the fast conditions um, uh, worked very well for me. And just what does it mean for you to make the third round and, and be in a position where, you know, checking off that last quarter final at a slam is, is kind of, you know, within reach? Uh, well, I don't think about that anymore. I, I just think that I enjoy what I do and I feel good. Um, and that's it.